हेलो स्टूडेंट बार वेलकम इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जे ई मीन्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू आज दिन ट्वेंटी फाइव जून सेप्ट फर्स्ट ए यूनिफॉर्म चेन ऑफ सिक्स मीटर लेंथ इज प्लेस्ड ऑन ए टेबल सर दैट ए पार्ट ऑफ इट्स लेंथ इज हैंगिंग ओवर द एज ऑफ द टेबल दिस पार्ट इज हैंगिंग द हैंगिंग द सिस्टम इज एट रेस्ट द कोपिशियंट ऑफ स्टेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द चेन एंड द सरफेस ऑफ द टेबल इज पॉइंट वन पॉइंट फाइव हेयर Coefficient of friction is given to us. Mu, which is point five, or we write one by two, and this is the length which is hanging here, and this is the length which is over the table. So let total length is L, and hanging length. A small l. Therefore, length of chain on table is equal to l minus l. If mass of chain is m, capital M, then mass of this part. therefore mass of hanging part equal to m over l into l mass of of part on length on a table here we want to find out the mass of part on table so this is L minus L into M upon L. Student in state of rest. In state of rest, the weight of hanging part, the weight of hanging part, equal to friction force. between chain and table so weight of the hanging part is m upon l into l this is the mass n to g equal to mu r mu r is l minus l into m upon l into g so g m l cancel both sides l equal to mu l minus l l equal to mu l minus mu small l we bring a small l mu small l in this side so mu l equal to capital l l is common 1 plus mu mu l therefore l equal to mu l upon 1 plus mu here l is given to us 6 meter mu is given to us 0.5 meter therefore we can easily find this mu is 0.5 into 6 upon 1 plus 0.5 so this is 6 5 the 33 and this is 1.5 and we we divide 3 by 1.5 we got 2 therefore l is 2 meter so answer of this question is 2 meter but in exam you should learn this that l maximum equal to mu l upon 1 plus mu and putting the values of mu and l you can easily calculate this value i hope you got it please like the video subscribe the channel thanks for watching